this is at the bottom screen so with another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Leo and Donnie patrol buggy but that's not it we got that and we got Raph and Mikey so I am going to be doing both of these kind of in a video uh, oh that's kind of funny when you put it like that um i just can't really show them both in the same package or sh shot uh i think they exactly say the same thing and actually no they don't so starting things off i guess we're going to take a look at leo and donnie and as you can see the packaging here shows the two buggies here um obviously the figures are sold separately as it says right there and it says that it's the turtles interlocking speed machines now we actually saw this vehicle in the show itself it was created by donatello and first appeared in the episode known as panic in the sewers that's basically an all-terrain vehicle that the turtles can use to get around now what's hilarious is when this was first used uh, it wasn't finished and Donnie really kind of warned the people about that. And as they were using it, things like steering wheels and things like that were completely falling apart. And it was an absolutely hilarious scene. But here you have the packaging. Uh, you got a little bio uh, kind of here where it says, When evil goes down, Team Green teams up, literally, and transforms their four individual buggies into one mega machine. With Donnie and Mikey supplying the ninja battle boost power, Leo and Raph take target practice, firing their ninja battle blasting cannons. Wow. <laughs> Destroying evil wherever it rears its ugly head. And then you come around here to the back. And you see how it actually interlocks uh, twin throttle steering, sewer sludge or sludge powered engine. You got a rocket grenade that launches. And again, the figures are sold separately, guys. And then for the back on this, it says straight from the hit TV show, Leo and Donnie's patrol buggies are individually customized and ready for action. Run the foot off the road with Leo's rocket green aid or scare him to the sidewalk with Donnie's crane crushing big wheels. Connect the vehicles to form one mega ninja buggy, then launch Leo forward for a ninja battle boost. With the buggies on patrol, no one dares trash turtle turf. Now, it really makes it kind of sound like they're uh, what, like individual buggies that come together. And the way that the show kind of depicts it is it's one big vehicle that can split off. Not necessarily one vehicle that can combine, although I guess that's pretty much the same thing. But you can see how all four of them connect. Then for Raph and Mikey's buggy, it says blast the Foot Clan from the fast lane with Raph and Mikey's patrol buggies. Straight from the hit TV show, these customized rides are ready to rock. Run Dog Pound out of town with Raph's reloadable Road Rash missile. Crush Fist Face's Robo Feet with Mikey's Mighty Monster Wheels. Connect the two vehicles to form one Mega Ninja Buggy, then rocket Raph forward for an explosive ninja battle boost. All mutant, all terrain, all turtles. And like I said, not only do these two combine, all four of them actually combine. So very, very cool. Again, figures are sold separately, and these are sold individually in packs of two. Now, I got this at my local Toys R Us. They are t about $20 per, so it's like $10 for each vehicle, I guess. But if you want to get all four of them, you got to buy or you got to buy two separate packages. So that's about it. So there's the Raph and Mikey. Let's take a look at these guys. I'm going to get them open and let's see how cool they actually are. All right, guys. So here we have the buggy fully assembled and with all the stickers applied to it. And as you can see, this thing gets pretty big and it nicely replicates how it looked in the actual episode itself. Uh, the biggest problem that I, I guess that I would have with it is that it's not 100% accurate. And by that, I mean, well, it's, it's reversed for example in the show i mean you can see the color coordination here you got mikey you got raf you got leo and you got donnie here in the back uh these were reversed in the show and all you have to do is swap them around this is really how it should actually be assembled um now whether or not you can do that is actually probably something that you could do uh, because a lot of these parts just kind of like for example you can take this off these just peg in so you can take these and try to get this one off here i mean they just they really do just kind of peg in uh, they are assembled already but you could swap them like so uh and if you wanted to i mean you you could you could swap these bits here uh you could swap this section right here uh the only problem that i'm having is really with these back tires i don't know how i can swap these out they're they're like in there and I, I don't know how to actually reverse that or if i can so it's it's 
it, it, it it's not too terribly bad, but it's one of those things that it, it kind of bugs me just because it, it could be right, but it's not for whatever reason. And then as you can, I'm just gonna reverse these back, but um, it's it's really a cool set. I really actually do like it. It's uh, it's something from the show, so that's automatically a very cool thing. And it's got a lot of playability with it. Uh, here in the front, now starting things off first, uh, here in the front of uh, the RAF vehicle, you have this missile that when you pull it back, it shoots it out. But it also launches. Now, if you remember in the show, they separated into these two halves, and then they were able to separate even further into quarters. And all you have to do is push this button here on the back, and this thing ejects very strongly. And these are, again, wonderful looking vehicles. Um, uh, well, again, this this section here, well, that just untabs, but uh, these little bits right here probably should get reversed, I guess, if you were gonna reverse them. But like I said, I don't know how you can pull these wheels out. I mean, they, they rotate individually, so I don't know if I just keep doing that, if it would pull them apart, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, but one thing that's also very cool is right up on here, you can actually store the missile, so you don't necessarily have to keep it in the front section. But these are very cool. I mean, you got the little engine bit right here where you can really see some nice added detail in there. Obviously, that's a sticker, but the engine right in there. Of course, this is the engine here on the back of the main one. And then when you want to put them together, just give them a good push, and they lock back in. And, and it's really very cool. And then you could see that how it actually attaches. These back wheels are kind of, um, I don't want to say serrated I don't know if that's the right word but they're like that and then you bring them together and then there's a little clip right up in here that just locks them together and that's really how they actually peg together Leo's uh, cart here as well has a little firing missile that also if you want to can store right up on there and I mean I I totally dig the way this look, works all of them have individual kind of steering wheels you got Leo's which is kind of like this you got a round one for RAF uh, and then Donnie's is kind of like these little handles, whereas Mikey's, are, they're similar handles, but they're different. But I love it. This is absolutely a fantastic piece. Now, like I said, they are $20 for the pair. Uh, there's four different ones, so 20 and 20 But if you're going to get one, you might as well get the other. I mean, they really are needed for all four of the turtles. Now, that brings me to my second kind of problem I suppose I would have. Now, honestly, I think that this set should be all-inclusive. And in doing so, I think you could probably cut $5 off the price. Because I really do believe that y you need to have one and you need to have the other, they should have been sold all together. In doing so, you could have saved on packaging, uh, the shipping cost for shipping, like, two of these, I guess. I mean, you, you could consolidate enough and maybe knock off... I don't know, three to five dollars, making both of these uh, a total, if you were to buy them together, at about a thirty-five dollar price point. Which, uh, you know, twenty dollars a piece isn't isn't bad for me. But if you could knock two dollars off of each one and you know give it to us for you know thirty-five, thirty-six dollars, I think that would be a better deal for these. But again, that's just my personal opinion. But I, I do believe that you need to have both of these because this looks freaking cool. Now, aside from my kind of minor nitpicks, uh, this is a set that I would absolutely recommend picking up. Uh, both of these I would. Because as I said, you get one, you gotta have the other. You know, my initial kind of complaint about these being reversed, uh, it, it's not that bad because if you remember from the episode, at least Leo was attached to Donnie and Raph was attached to Mikey. They're just on the wrong side. So it's not too terribly bad. It's just one of those minor nitpicks, I guess, for me. And the only other problem, I guess, would be the price. I really think that these two separate things should be one, and I would be happier if they did that, and hopefully it would have brought down the price some. All the stuff put together, I, I, th this is a fantastic set. Absolutely fantastic. I would absolutely recommend picking this up. As I mentioned, I picked this up at my local Toys R Us store. If you are interested in picking these up, I would absolutely get out there and get these guys. They're real fun, <laughs> and I mean, like I said, it looks great together. But that's about it, guys. So until next time, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at facebook.com slash teambotomous. And follow me over on Twitter at twitter.com slash optibotomous. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.